38 Bengal Cat Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Bengal Cat is an artificial breed that was created by crossing the wild Asian Leopard Cat with different domesticated breeds, especially the spotted Egyptian Mao. Number 2. Bengal Cats have inherited a unique trait from their Leopard Cat ancestors. Yep, they love swimming and playing in water. Number 3. Bengals are known to be true cat burglars. They'll occasionally steal small items such as your shiny adornments or your keys, often because they just want your attention. Number 4. Did you know that the Bengal is the number one most stolen cat breed? Yep, their exotic appearance just makes them too easy to spot while also screaming their value. Number 5. Not all Bengals have short coats. If your Bengal kitten inherits two specific genes from their parents, they can grow a longer coat and they'll be known as a cashmere Bengal. Number 6. Bengal cats have a specific category of progressive blindness called Bengal progressive retinal atrophy, which is a common medical condition in this breed. Thankfully, a genetic test is available to identify this condition. Number 7. According to cat insurance data from 2016, the most common condition for the Bengal breed were lymphosarcoma, chronic renal failure, upset stomach, and pancreatitis. Number 8. Approximately 9% of all cats affected by distal neuropathy, a neural disorder, are Bengals. It can manifest as early as 1 year old in Bengal kittens, while in other breeds, it typically appears at around 4 to 6 years of age. Number 9. A study conducted in Britain with 100 adult Bengal cats found that all of them had type A blood, indicating a uniform blood type. However, similar studies in the past had shown mixed results, with some Bengals having type B or even type AB blood. Number 10. One Belgian Bengal cat named Thor is probably the most popular Bengal in the world. Thor went viral in 2016 for his beautiful tiger-like fur and has earned hundreds of thousands of fans ever since. Number 11. Although spotted patterns can occur in virtually every cat breed, the Bengal's exotic rosette markings are absolutely unique to this breed. Number 12. Aside from the popular brown rosetted coat, Bengal cats come in many other colors, including the officially recognized brown, snow, and silver, as well as unrecognized colors like charcoal, blue, and melanistic. Number 13. The snow Bengal is the result of a form of albinism, which is a remnant from when Siamese and Burmese cats were involved in their breeding. This ivory to cream colored coat is actually the result of a form of albinism. Number 14. In terms of patterns, Bengals only come in two varieties, spotted or rosetted, and marble. Some patterns typically look like a cheetah's or jaguar's, while the rarer marble pattern looks like elongated, blotchy tabby stripes. Number 15. Bengal kittens aren't born with their adult patterns. They actually start out with some fuzz over their coats that gradually disappears between the ages of 3 and 8 months. Number 16. Does your bangle look like they've been sprinkled with gold dust? If so, your bangle has the rare glitter coat where the tips of their hairs express a sparkling sheen, especially when exposed to direct sunlight. Number 17. Before 1974, Bengal cats were known as safari cats, highlighting their wild appearance and ancestry. The name was almost changed to leopardettes, but breeders eventually settled for the name Bengal cat. Number 18. Some people believe that Bengal cats were named after the resemblance to the Bengal tiger. Others claim that the cats were named after Bill Engler, the person who came up with this name. But in reality, Bengal cats were named after the taxonomic name of the Asian leopard cat, which is Brinellurus bengalensis. Number 19. Bengal kittens are numbered based on what generation they are, or in other words, how many times their ancestors have been bred with domestic cats to reduce their wild origins. The first generation is called F1, followed by F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, and so on. Number 20. The Cat Fanciers Association only registers Bengal cats from the F6 generation or more. In simpler terms, if you want to register your Bengal, they need to be six generations removed from their wild ancestors. Number 21. The early Bengal cats, influenced by their leopard cat lineage, had a temperament that was quite disagreeable. Breeders had to cross them with friendlier cats such as the Abyssinian to develop Bengal cats into better companions. Number 22. Early male Bengal cats from F1 to F3 generations were frequently infertile, so females from these generations were almost always bred with fertile males of later generations. Number 23. Some people think that Bengal cats, especially those of the earlier generations, should still be considered wild. That's why ownership of these felines is legally restricted in many American states like Texas. Meanwhile, in Connecticut, Hawaii, Seattle, and New York City, Bengals are outright banned. Number 24. Even outside of America, Bengal owners face legal issues. In Australia and New Zealand, you need a special permit from the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources to have a Bengal as a pet. 
Number 25. Animal rights activists have even expressed concerns about the breeding of Bengal cats. They believe it is unethical to crossbreed wild cats with domestic ones to create such exotic hybrid pets. Number 26. The earliest mention of an Asian leopard and domestic cat crossbreed was in 1889 in the book Our Cats and All About Them by Harrison Weir, the father of the cat fancy. However, the name Bengal cat hadn't been coined yet, so he simply referred to them as spotted tabby cats. Number 27. The proper development of Bengal cats began only in the 1970s, when Californian cat breeder Jean Mel acquired a leopard cat who would later mate with Mill's black cat, resulting in spotted kittens. Number 28. Around the same time as Jean Mill, scientists at the Loyola University were crossing Asian leopard cats with domestic cats because the wild ones have a natural resistance against feline leukemia virus. Jean acquired some of these crossbred cats and started developing Bengal cats in earnest. Number 29. Since Asian leopard cats are immune to feline leukemia, many people believe that the same applies to Bengal cats. However, this is not true and you need to vaccinate your Bengal against feline leukemia virus. Number 30. Thanks to their muscular body, your Bengal is going to be quite a bit larger than your average house cat. They can weigh anywhere between 8 and 15 pounds and range in height anywhere from about 13 to 16 inches tall. Number 31. Throughout the 1990s, Bengal cats went on receiving official recognition from major feline registries like the International Cat Association, the Governing Council of the Cat Fancy, and the International Feline Federation. The Cat Fanciers Association was among the last of them to register Bengals in 2016. Number 32. Bengals enjoyed an explosive popularity in the past few decades. Between 1992 and 2019, the number of registered Bengal breeders with the International Cat Association increased from 125 to nearly 2,000. Number 33. Bengals are one of the few cat breeds that are considered hypoallergenic. Their short coat sheds very little, which results in fewer allergens being released into the environment. Number 34. Do you want a Bengal for yourself? Well, be prepared to spend quite a bit because these cats cost an average of two grand. However, prices can range from as low as $800 to $10,000 or even more. Number 35. In 1990, a British woman purchased a Bengal cat for over 50 grand, highlighting their high demand and earning them the reputation of being the Rolls Royce of feline companions. Number 36. Do you remember the rock group Jethro Tull? The group's famous flautist, Ian Anderson, was an early fan of the Bengal cat and has promoted the breed for years. Number 37. Other prominent Bengal owners include Jerry Seinfeld, Kristen Stewart, Barbara Mandel, Kourtney Kardashian, and Bruce Springsteen. At number 38, Bengal cats exhibit high levels of intelligence and are also often compared to dogs. This is evident in their ability to be easily leash trained even as adults. Now, are there any other fascinating facts about Bengal cats that you think should have been included in the list? Let us know in the comments below.